right, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another week of Owatonna Wrestling Weekly Podcast. We got Coach uh, Johnson over here. I'm Larry Hovden. We had a pretty good week, and we got a good week coming up. We did, yeah. So on the high school side, uh, we finally got to basically a real dual meet. Did not go the way we uh, wanted it to. You North were there. It was tough. Yes, I was. <laughs> so, <laughs> yep, just kind of snowballed. Everything that could go wrong kind of did. And, uh, yeah, you have... A lot of close matches, you know, one or two yeah. points. So, you know, when they swing one team all the way through, then it just just kills you because, you know, if, it, if one guy could have just stopped that rumble they got at the end, you yeah. know, they had four or five, six matches. Because once they started rolling, it was pretty tough to stop. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we fell 58, or sorry, 55 to 18. And, you know, that's a team that we haven't seen head-to-head yet this year. However... Um, the odd part is, is that at an individual tournament we were at, and then at a team tournament we were at, we were both way ahead of them in the standings. Mm. So head to head this, this round, they definitely got it. I think you found the team you got to beat. Yep. That's the team you got to beat. Fine to be the number one seed in sections this year. So yeah, we'll get them again. And we we're amping up for that. Um, Well, we had some good notes. So Kale Robb and Landon Johnson and Mason Krampitz all picked up pins. Yep. That's good. Yep. And That's we asked good. some young guys to, to come out and uh, step up. They had they had a pretty full roster, and, and mm. we had some guys that uh, were just kind of trying it out a little bit. Yep. Um, some JV guys that, you know, we're not worried about that. We're, we're happy with their progress and where they're going to end up, you know, years to come. But, uh, yeah, they got a little taste of it, and it was <laughs> – in their face. <laughs> yes, so, they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. You found so. out what it would be like by yourself. You're out there by yourself. Yeah. That, that really that really turns you into a young man out there, I'll tell yeah. you. How cool was that atmosphere, though? Oh. Under a lamp again? Yep. And, yeah, a full full arena, full gym. Yes, that was it crazy. Was. And they had their youth, Northfield youth out there, you know, cheering Matt's side and everything. Yeah, so. sitting Matt's side. They had the best seat in the house. Yeah. Well, and then we went to uh, Zombrota Mazep on Saturday. We had Centennial and Zambroda. Uh, we started off with Centennial and, you know, really took it to them. They're down a little mm-hmm. bit. Um, and then we, uh, where they where they did have some strong matches, we had even stronger guys yeah. there. So, yeah. I mean, 58, we really shut down. 58-22 win there. Yeah, six pins and really seven pins. Blake Fitcher was on his way to one uh, when injury default happened. So, mm. basically a seven-pin duel right there, which was pretty nice. That's great. That's 42 points right there. Yeah. And Mazeppa, or Zombrota Mazeppa. That yep. was a tough one. Yeah, that was tough. Um, and, yeah, you know, they, they had their bumps and bruises, too. So we, we can't keep saying, well, we had five guys yeah. out of the lineup. They had four of their starters out of the lineup. So, I mean, it's it's just kind of a reality right now, and we need, you know, yes. the younger guys to, to fill in and step up. Yeah, so. between COVID and everything else that's going on, it, it's a lot of kids. It's affecting a lot of kids, a lot of teams. And you just hope you got them all there at the end. Yep. That's what I hope. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, and so, well, tomorrow night, Thursday, the 20th, uh, we have Mankato East in town for a duel. JV starts at 6, and then we have a seniors celebration. We have a lot of them between uh, the wrestlers and the managers. We have 14 that we're honoring right before varsity starts at 7. So that'll be cool. And also, we need to present uh, Kale Robb with his 100th victory (sighs) plaque, so we get to honor him too. Um, And then Saturday... We're going to a, a big individual tournament up in East Ridge High School, north side of the cities there. And mm-hmm. Anoka is going to be there, Apple Valley, Ellsworth, Wisconsin, uh, Baldwin Woodville, Wisconsin. So yeah. some really stout competition yep. for Wisconsin both Wisconsin teams are pretty good, those two teams. Yeah, <laughs> yep. traditionally. And we were just looking at how many guys are ranked, and it's it's going to be stacked. Yep. So it'll be another good test for yep. us. So. For sure. And at the same time, uh, our ninth, ninth grade, grade team is going to head west over to Jackson for the uh, state individual qualifier. So that'll be cool, too. That's a big tournament, boys. Some of these younger kids, eighth graders, maybe. I don't know if you got – do you have a full lineup for ninth graders? I think we might be one short yep. um, as far as filling in with middle school. Mm-hmm. But, yeah. Oh, so, good. Yeah. And these younger kids get to go there and see what it's like and get the feeling of it. And then when they do get old enough to do something like that, you know, they aren't scared a bit. Right. Yeah. Yep. It's it, it way gives to them do that it. atmosphere, that's for sure. Awesome. Okay, now we go on to the Owatonna Middle School recap. Yeah. Tuesday they were at Prior Lake. I don't have the scores on those. Yeah. And then Saturday they were at Mankato East. 
And that was a big dual tournament. So I know Zombroda came away with the victory. Um, I think we did actually finish second, though, to them. So that was great. And we had so many guys on our team that I know even my son, um, instead of kind of being lower in the depth chart, he went and wrestled for Mankato West just to help out their mm. team because they, they were short guys. Yeah, yep. I remember doing that back in the day, too. Yeah. So that's always a fun tournament. Mm -hmm. I had a – I can't remember the kid's name now. I've only coached 8,000 kids or right? something like that. Yeah. <laughs> and the fact you remember any of them. I had four guys great. left, and with the, with, the, with the way the score was going, if one of those four – no, three guys. If one of those three got a pin, we had it locked up. Yeah. And I turned around, and it was right, the, the stands were right there because they were warming up by the stands. Yeah. And, they, and I said, who wants to be a hero? They all looked at me. <laughs> That's a cool you know way what? to put it. They all threw you got a pen. Nice. It worked well. Oh, my God. Oh. That's some motivation. Yes, right it there. was. It was great. Oh, it was that's great. That's awesome. That's a cool experience. Yeah. Well, and, and they just had a, a home meet last night. They had, um, uh, let's see, it was home, New Prague, Scott West, and Austin. And those are tough teams right now. They're middle school, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Looks like they have some stuff coming up, too, later this week. On Thursday, they're away at Lakeville Century Middle School. I don't know if that's just a dual meet or... I think it's another kind of try. Okay. Yep. And then Saturday, they got the Middle School Conference Tournament at Farmington. That is always a big, big, big test for everybody. Yeah. That's, that's going to be the best of the best in mm -hmm. southern Minnesota. So. Boy, that's tough. We brought home a lot of trophies for that tournament. Awesome. And it's it's good I'm that good. you got to roll it. It's good. Yeah. It looks like you got to roll it. Well, and your son, Jake, up in Farmington, those numbers, he's feeding that middle school program pretty hard. Yes, like he they're, is. They're rivaling he's our good. numbers. That's awesome. He's, he's doing it the way that you do it. And he's, you know, the way we know what you, the way is right. Yep. And I'll tell you what, numbers, numbers makes your program. It doesn't matter if you got five guys at one weight, use them all and they'll all be happy. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's well, and he's key. so positive with them too. I got a chance to come in and help him at a few practices because oh. uh, I was working up in Farmington, and uh -huh. yeah, I, I love his his demeanor, and he's just all the kids adore him. Yep. It's it's awesome. Okay, guess he does quite well up there. Yeah. Okay, now we're ready for some youth on the youth recap of what we did here last week. Who do you want to start with? Tulsa Nationals. Yeah, that big one. And we had uh, our sixth grader, Kayla Pestica, who also looked insanely tough last night at home, uh, went down there and, yeah, took fifth at Tulsa Nationals. Mm. And, I mean, that is such a tough tournament. Oh. It's on flow wrestling. I mean, the publicity, everything. It's such a big spectacle. And apparently the lights weren't too bright for her. She yep. stepped up. Yep, that was good. That's awesome. And then we had the Stillwater Pony Stampede. That's a K through six individual tournament with team points. They keep track of team points on an individual tournament. So, yeah, yeah. So I I know we had eight individual place winners. Um, and yeah, I, sorry I didn't get you the entire list. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> I knew we had one champion, Caden Lindquist, and mm -hmm. then uh, a lot of a lot of guys placing outside. Yeah, which well, took third. Yeah, one hundred and sixty-seven points, and only behind Becker. And STMA, those two teams, they're always tough. Yeah. Oh always tough. And then Old Tana had six individual. Oh, you brought that up already. So, place winners. Yep. And Caden Lundquist got first place. And then the last thing we talk about is Hayfield Youth Tournament. Old Tana had 21 wrestlers compete. That's that's where you make get your numbers going. Yeah. And it helps. They all get to wrestle. Yeah, they're traveling well. Yep. That's great. Well... Coming up here, um, we get to have our first ever Owatonna Youth Wrestling guests, so that's cool. Um, so, yeah, right around the corner. We'll be right back. So this is brought to you by Sakura Automotive Repair. Uh, Clint Sakura, Owatonna Wrestling alum, uh, longtime supporter of the program, uh, has a little kid in the program helping out coaching as well, wants to let you know that he doesn't just restore old cars, that they're able to do full service items, oil change, tires, everything all the way up to major auto repair. So thank you to Sakura Automotive. All right, we are a guest portion of the of the podcast here, and as first ever youth uh, wrestler coming in here to talk with us, we got Parker Ringhofer. I had that checked off. Parker, welcome to the show. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> all right. So Parker 
we wanted you on because you have a pretty cool perspective. You are in your first year trying out wrestling, right? Yeah? Mm -hmm. How do you like that so far? How's, it, how's your first season been going? Are you having fun? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Now, you told me you know a lot of cool moves, because I asked what your favorite was, and you're like, I, I got a lot of cool moves. What are some of the moves that you like doing? Um, I like doing the Hat Nelson. Um, I like doing the Cow Catcher. Nice. Um, that's closer. The yeah, double closer. legs. Um, oh, double leg takedown? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Some single legs. Listen um, to this. Mm -hmm. First year wrestler, do you know five, six moves already? That's crazy. Oh, oh. I was happy if you learned two or three, and you're up there <laughs> at five or six. Good job. Oh, that's awesome. Do you have friends in the program with you? Yeah. Yeah, like you can you can do shout outs. What are some of your friends' names? You can say hi. Um, Eli. Okay. Um, Jackson. Nice. Um, George. You have a George your age? That is so cool. I like that name for a little kid. That's awesome. That's an old fashioned um, name. Yeah. I think those are all. Okay. Okay. Oh, I got to ask you some cool questions. Oh, now. yeah. Who's your favorite superhero? I don't know. You don't know? <laughs> you know how many there are? Marvel Comics, all them guys? Maybe mm. Superman? Let's see. Do you have a favorite superhero movie? Are you an Avengers guy, a Justice League guy? No. No? Okay, okay. What about Star Wars? Yeah. Yeah? There Who's your you favorite go. Star Wars character? Mandalorian. Do you knew that one right away. Dude, that is awesome. Love that. Mm -hmm. Have you? So you've watched that show? Only like... 15 minutes of it. Oh, okay. It, it can be a little scary, I suppose, too. Yeah. It was just boring. Oh, it's boring. Boring. <laughs> oh, I've watched the whole series on Netflix. It's really good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You can try that again. No, that's cool. And then, what's your favorite candy? That's one thing I always ask. Mmm. Mmm. It's a tough decision. Sometimes kids don't eat candy. They stay healthy. A Jolly Rancher. Oh, there you Solid. go. Solid. Shout out to Keith Stark. Yep. He the used Jolly to, Ranchers. He used to carry bags full of Jolly Ranchers oh, yeah. to all the wrestling tournaments for kids. Well, that's awesome. Well, Parker, thank you so much for being on with us. Mm -hmm. You're already a pro. Like, you're not even nervous. That I'm more nervous being up here than you are, obviously. So <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> well, thanks, dude. And, hey, I hope you keep wrestling. I hope you come back. And just keep learning, because it sounds like a year from now, you're going to know like 45 moves and be able to hit everything from every different situation. And maybe you'll need to coach some of our high schoolers. How about that? Probably. And, yeah. and bring a friend that's not in wrestling. Bring him along. Then you'll have a friend in the program with you, and you can go up with the friends as you yeah. get older. That'd be cool. Okay. Awesome. Well, thanks, bud. Thanks for being on, dude. All right. We're here with another Oatana youth wrestler. And... Uh, yeah, his name his name is Nash Jerali Jerali Jerali. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's a big time Oatana wrestling name. How's yes, it going, it buddy? Good. Good. How's your season going so far? Uh, very good. Very, very good. good. You know why? I heard you just accomplished something really cool that not a lot of people get to do. What'd you do? Won a big tournament. Yeah. What was it called? Rumble on the Red. Rumble on the Red. And Who's, how many guys do you have in your bracket? I heard a lot, right? Um, like 16? Yeah. Yeah, for well, a little kid bracket, that's a lot of kids. Where do you go for that tournament? Where's that tournament at? Um, do you remember? No. It was way up North Dakota? Was it in a, in a tiny little space in a shed in a backyard? No. No, it was like a big old <laughs> arena, right? Yeah. Yeah, the Fargo Dome. Yeah, that's a big that's place. That's so cool. A lot of mats on the floor there. So show us what show us the hardware you got. What what do you got there? I had a single. Yeah. Yeah. Help you hold it up. Oh my. A wow. Champ on the back. Mm -hmm. And I got a medal. And a medal, which is Look like it weighs this. as much as you weigh. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> that thing, I I heard it just scrape right here. That is here. I'll hold huge. it up for you while you're talking. For that hardware. Yeah. Look at that. Oh my gosh. That's, That's so cool, man. Hey, way to champion. go. Nice That's job. That's a cool accomplishment. Nice job. Yeah, you gotta give him those too. Yeah. Rumble nice. Oh, yeah. All right, so when you're up at the Rumble on the Red, yeah. 
Did you get to use any of your favorite moves? Yes. Yeah, what are some of your favorite moves? Can you get a little closer there? A high crotch, a single. Oh. Mm -hmm. And I think that's it. A high crotch, single? Oh, man. Those are, those are so good to play off each other. If one's not there, you get the other one. Yeah. That's cool that you know those two moves for your age, man. That's awesome. We got some good coaches down there in that youth program. These kids yeah. saying these kind of moves like this. It's unbelievable. Right. I heard there's a there's a, a Jeral a, a a Gibraltar. What's your last name again? Jerley. Jerley coaching down there too. Yeah. Your dad? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> and my brother. And your brother and your brother gets to wrestle up with the high school this how, year. How old is your brother? Um, thirteen. I mean, fourteen. 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 Eighth grader. Yeah, got his first varsity action last week. Yep. So that was cool. So I bet he teaches you a lot of stuff too. Yes. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. Yep. Well, good. So have I asked you all the big questions? Who's yeah. your favorite superhero? Um, Thor. 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 Oh, Big the strong. hammer guy. Yeah. You know, drop the hammer on somebody. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. That's how you win trophies. That's how you win stuff like this. You yeah. drop the hammer on a baby. Yeah. Good yeah. job. And then you got to tell me, what kind of candy do you like? What's Snickers. Your... Snickers? Snickers. Candy bars, huh? Wow. You like peanuts? No. Yes. No. Snickers has peanuts. <laughs> oh, did we just reveal that for you? Is that a spoiler alert? <laughs> no. Oh, my God. Well, dude, thank you so much for coming on, and thank you for... Hey, do you have any friends you want to say yes. hi to? Let's do a shout-out. Camera's no. right there. Oh. Uh, I don't want to. You don't uh, want to? I'll, I'll, I'll do a shout-out to your friends. Okay. All right, this is to Bruce, um, and, th and this is to, to Geoffrey, and this is definitely to Cunningham McStinky Face. Okay. Okay. Sounds good, man. Well, thanks for coming on, buddy. All right. Thank Na you. Nash Jerley, oh. thank you very much. <laughs> Good job, dude. Nice job. What a pro. Yep. All right. We're here with OHS Captain Ryan Grunwald. Ryan, thanks for being here. Yeah. Now, we wanted you on for many reasons. You know, captain, leader in the room, um, you know, just dedication to the sport. You're one of the... The, the people that wrestle all year round and everything like that. But you have some huge news that you just did recently. What's that? I just committed to Stevens Point in Wisconsin. Nice. I'm going to be wrestling. Yeah. And finishing my college career there. Yeah. Wow. That is so cool. That I remember so that cool. first year I saw you come into a wrestling room and you were this little girl about that high, didn't weigh 40 pounds. And you said, I'm going to go out for wrestling. And I said, okay, it's going to be tough. You know, thinking of a girl and everything. I said, you're going to have to be really tough because them boys aren't going to like girls in here. And you went after it. You never quit. You never quit. That is, that's awesome to see a whole career like that. And so, yeah, you committed to Stevens Point to wrestle. That's awesome. We, we backtrack. You get named captain. And then even before all that in the fall, you had a pretty sweet deal. Uh, what did you wrestle in in September? Uh, MN number one. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you do there? Um, I won my match. It was a really fun experience. It was a good atmosphere. Uh, Landon Johnson was there too. He won his match as well. Yeah. It was, it was really fun. That's awesome. Cool. Yeah, that's a, that's a big deal. They, make, they put on a good spectacle mm -hmm. for that, so that's cool. Nice, nice. Well, and so on top of that, so we have signing day around the corner, and then after that, we're going into some, some girls-only um, events. Uh, we have Pine Island on the 5th, and then how excited are you for the first ever girls-only sections in state? I am very excited. Yeah. I have, like, won the non-official state titles, but to get, like, a recognized one mm. it should be very fun first ever you could go in there and just set all these records that nobody else can touch yeah. first ever that, yeah. that's something you're gonna be able to live with the rest of your life first ever this and first ever that oh man well and she's ready she's putting in the work in the room yeah. like it's it's cool to watch i saw it. yeah <laughs> i saw it pounding the crap out of these guys well it, and speaking of that so um you know naturally 
when you're blazing a trail like you are, uh, being in a, a male-dominated sport, um, you're you're naturally going to be you know a role model that other girls look up to and everything like that. Um, I I know you bounce around a little bit around Southern Minnesota and everything. Um, how has that been? You know, has that been a rewarding experience working with young girls and and what kind of counseling or advice have you given them along the way? Yeah, so um, not too long, a couple years ago, I think it was my sophomore year, I ran a clinic here just for girls. Nice. Um, We had a really good turnout. um, And I go to quite a few, like, storm practices, and I help, like, coach the girls and stuff like that. Just give them some tips and all that, and they really look up to me. And they, when you go to tournaments, they kind of like follow you around, and it's yeah. How's that? How's that make you feel? It makes me feel good. It's yeah. just like they look up to me. So you know, you know what you're doing right. Yes, good job. Well, and you're so humble, so I know you're not like, you know, <laughs> no. The ego isn't getting too big on you. You're always just yep. incredibly humble and everything too. So yeah, and then, you know. To the girls out there that may be thinking about, you know, trying out wrestling, but, oh, no, I'm, you know, I, I have some some concerns or I'm scared or something like that. Um, what would you say to them as far as, you know, what kind of atmosphere is it like being in a, a mostly boys wrestling room? Is it, and you probably had some tough times, but, um, you know, what would you say to them as far as how you got through it? Yeah, so there is a lot of, there's been a couple girls that, like, they wanted to wrestle, but they didn't want to because it was, like, they didn't want to wrestle with boys. Mm -hmm. Um, And the main thing I've always said was it's going to be difficult, but, like, the experience you get and the friends you make and it's just, it's really rewarding. Yeah. Um, And it's really fun. Like, the practices might not always be the best, but the, like, tournaments and the meets, they're really fun. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, I, you know, well, you know what? We can do the same things. You want to do the same <laughs> same questions? Sure. Yeah, can. for sure. Okay. All right. Who's your favorite superhero? You gotta have one. Spider Man. Spider Man. Nice. There you go. You watched all the movies? Yeah, I've seen all of them. I've seen all of them. My favorite's the most recent one. Which one is that? What's the name of that? No Way Home. Yeah. No Way Home. It's kind of a dimensional. Mashup of all the different yeah. ones. It's surprising how many different kind of uh, different uh, superheroes these kids think yeah. and think about and know and like. And mm-hmm. It is. I'm pretty. I'm pretty. Okay. What about candy though? Um, Reese's peanut butter cups. Peanut butter cups. All right. Yeah. Nice. Have to remember that you win the championship. We'll have to see what <laughs> yeah. we can do on that. <laughs> Big old metal made out of Reese's. <laughs> there you nice. go. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Ryan. And for real, thank you for what you do in the room. Oh. And thank you for the type of leader you are. Um, it, you know, I, I keep telling you, we, I need you a little bit more vocal on the on that side. Yeah. But man, the way you, your work ethic, the way you show the younger kids how to, you know, truly, you know, work on your craft is impressive. So thank you. You're, you're awesome to have in the room. So. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yep. Very impressed. Right. Very impressed. Well, thank you much. Uh, that That's another Oatana Wrestling Weekly, Coach. Okay. Yeah, I think we got about wrapped up. So thanks, everyone, for listening to this uh, Owatonna Wrestling Weekly podcast. I'm Larry Hubden with head coach Derek Johnson and Ryan sitting here and telling us all the things that she's getting done. It's it's really, really fun to hear all these kids' stories. So thanks for listening. See you next time. Thank you.